Yeah, I'm gonna put them in. That was it. <laughs> That's definitely a win. <laughs> the biggest week I've ever seen. <laughs> So this is a proud day for our families. This morning I changed in my phone contacts Jamie's name to Jamie Harvey. Thank you all for coming. Um, like uh, Jamie and Steve really appreciate that you've made the time to come in and celebrate themselves and their families coming together. How's this couple? Hey? How's this couple? They are the perfect couple. Round of applause. Uh, it's so good to uh, finally see all this happen. It's been a, it's been a hell of a journey for these pair, through thick and thin, through everything that's happened. And, and it's just so good to see everybody here to share this short moment of time for Jamie and Stephen and um, that'll be something that they'll remember for a long, long time to come and uh, probably for the rest of their lives, I would hope. My name is Kyle Mather and I am duly uh, authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Is what I would say if I was actually <laughs> a qualified source. <laughs> These guys just wanted uh, everyone to be here today. Um, obviously they are officially wed already, but they wanted this to be a day that they could share with all their loved ones and their family and their friends. So we're gonna go back to May 2016. Both Jamie and Steve are in Sydney and they're actually at a bodybuilding competition to cheer on a mutual friend. And when Steve first laid eyes on Jamie, he's like, oh yeah, I'm about this, yeah, I'm about this. <laughs> and he didn't even care that she wore a dirty dotty t-shirt and she had some wild hair going on, he didn't care. He was still into her. At first, Jamie didn't really pick up on Steve's signals. He flirted pretty hard, didn't really catch on. Okay, they had to get their real lives for Jamie. This was on the Gold Coast for Steve. This was in camera, so they had to separate their ways. before the wedding, wondering which part of the roller coaster to start from. Whether it was from the time I first met you in my scrappy pajamas, the four times I tried to break up with you because long distance sucks. <laughs> All that time we planned three weddings during a pandemic. <laughs> to impress head to toe in flannel. I knew there was something special about you. Maybe it was the endless dad jokes and innuendo or perhaps that you had no idea. I was at level 1000 charming effort but I knew I had to see you again. Now I'm not sure if uh, at this point Jamie still didn't really know Steve was that into it. He wasn't really picking up on the signals. So I'm not sure if she was in La La Land or if Steve Games just wasn't that. <laughs> so on behalf of my beautiful wife, Colleen, over there. <laughs> So 
this is a really proud moment, of course, for us, amongst many of Jamie's achievements in life. We're so happy to be sharing it with our loved ones. Fast forward a couple of months, I find myself on the Gold Coast for a chance extended stay, and finally you fall for that charm. <laughs> By this stage, I've already met the immediate and extended family and think I'm a shoo-in. <laughs> <laughs> but just like a new set of boots, the fit isn't without its problems, and yep, you tried to uh, tried your darndest to get rid of me. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a happy ending, I promise. <laughs> So to Graham and Anne, um, reflected in a child are the values of their family's upbringing. And Steve's entering our lives, uh, it was very clear early on that he's loving toward Jamie, his respect, and respect is a big word, uh, has lots of uh, weight behind him. Um, it's evident in that alone that you've raised a wonderful son. For a good period of time, they did the long distance thing. And this did put a little bit of a strain on the relationship, but it was a challenge for them. And they were very committed to each other. Their connection was strong. Obviously, we got through that, and I went and went on to form the most amazing relationship. To Jamie, our beautiful daughter, we're so proud of you. You know, to the bottom of our hearts, you've always had an energy for life. We love you, dear. You showed me what it was like to truly only want pure happiness for someone and for that I am eternally grateful. You keep me safe, you leave me wild, and I can't wait to kiss you every night until we're old and crusty.
Now we're going to fast forward just a little bit. And Steve is now discharged from the Navy. He sold most of his possessions and he's crammed whatever he has left into a Ford Focus. <laughs> and he's driven all the way to the Gold Coast to see what he could make of a life with his new love. As it turns out, it was a pretty damn good life. <laughs> and on December 3rd, 2019, Steve took Jamie to a beautiful Airbnb in the Richmond Range of New South Wales with a ring that was burning a hole in his pocket for the past five weeks. <laughs> They wanted to start the next chapter. And they started the next chapter and they bought this beautiful place that we are now standing at today. Riding the wave, cold and come down. The city lights still burning bright in my head. I never would have guessed I'd fall so fiercely in love. From the moment you created the two steps dead rule, I knew I would always feel safe and protected by you. <laughs> I'm excited to add to our adventurous memories and vow to give you the most extraordinary life. Jamie, you have shown me qualities within you uh, that I thought impossible of any one person. Your patient and nurturing soul is the only reason I was able to make it through the last couple of years. Your love knows no bounds and I thank my lucky stars every night that I get to wake up to you every morning. You are my rock, my encourager, my home and the love of my life. I vow to love you with all my being for the rest of my life. I'm yours.